I'm gonna share the top four don'ts as an actor. Why are there four don'ts? How many do's are there? Well, there's an infinite amount of things you can do right, but there's actually an only limited amount of things you can do wrong, so let's start there. Number one, doing what you think someone else wants to see. When people audition, they're really excited. They're thinking, how do I get this? How do I make that person happy? How do I show what they wanna see? And do you know what you end up doing? You end up doing the most generic, obvious interpretation of something. For example, if you're doing a commercial and you're talking about ninjas and you go like this, or you have a situation where you're going through like a list of things and you start like counting with your fingers, you're doing really simple act outs. You're doing what you think a commercial should be. You're doing what you think a casting director wants to see. The point is, what they want to see is your unique point of view. What stands out when you're auditioning for a commercial, for a scene, for voiceover, whatever, it's what you think. It's how you connect. It's how you show that in a character or in a read or whatever it is. It's not what you think someone else wants to see. Sometimes as actors are people pleasers, but I'm telling you, that's not gonna please someone. They're gonna see the same thing that they saw from 20 other people that did the same act out, did how they thought the commercial should be versus how they really think, feel, and connect with themselves and others. So don't do it, it's that simple. Tip number two, don't overdo it with costumes, with props, any of it. This goes back to just being yourself and keeping it simple. I look crazy right now. Unless like I am auditioning for a cowboy tiger robe wearing guitar player and it says that in the sides, you don't need any of this. So often people overdress, they wear too many props, they try to look really cool and it's just distracting. You should almost never wear hats. Unless it's calling for you to play guitar, you shouldn't have this. And like, what am I thinking? So the point is, keep it simple, guys. If someone is gonna be impressed by you, it's gonna be your acting. It's not gonna be like you shredding, it's not gonna be you looking like ultra cool or whatever you think someone wants to see, which honestly brings us back to the first thing. Don't do what you think someone else wants to see or how something else fits. Keep it simple, keep it easy, and just be yourself. Number three. You really need to properly frame yourself, properly light yourself, and in general, follow standards for a self-tape. If I was shooting an audition, I'm not gonna have any of this stuff around me. The reason I have all this gear is I want you guys to understand I'm not just an actor, I'm a filmmaker. I have these things, they're all tools that I use for different things if I'm shooting or working on set or whatever. But the point is, when you're auditioning, you don't want anything to distract someone from your performance. All of this, this is gonna tell a casting director, what is this guy doing? So it's so important that you have proper lighting, you have a clear background, and you look like this. This is what your self-tape should look like. No, it doesn't have to be perfect, it doesn't have to look as good as mine, but it should look close to this. This is a cheap background off Amazon, I have professional lighting and a professional camera and a professional boom mic, but you don't need all these things. But you wanna try to find a way to have a clean background, have a light source that's coming from this direction and be in an environment where there's no distractions, people can clearly hear you, clearly see you, and just understand and appreciate your performance. Number four, don't wear black. I'm wearing black to make a point because if you look like me, it makes you have a really weird contrast. But for anyone, it doesn't do you any favors. Why? It provides a very extreme contrast for your camera to focus on. So for me, it makes me actually look more pale than I am. And it draws more focus from the camera to where it can make other things look under or overexposed. You might be thinking, I actually don't look that bad right now, but that's because I have a professional studio. I have a light above me, I have light here, I have light there, and I have some other light sources that are near and around me building an overall environment. So I'm kind of in a position where I can get away with wearing this color, but it's because I'm surrounded by thousands of dollars of professional equipment. You don't need any of this to be an actor, and you don't need any of this to make a self-tape. What you do need is just dressing yourself in a way that flatters you. You don't wanna overdress, you don't wanna underdress, and you don't want to wear black. So remember, 
There's actually not that many things you can do wrong and literally an unlimited amount of things that you can do right. So whether you're auditioning for us at the talent spot or something you found on a casting site, hopefully you feel like you're a little bit more confident and you can make use of some of these lessons. And hopefully we get a chance to see you at one of our auditions or hear about one of your success stories in the comments below. So good luck no matter what and stay tuned for more acting tips.